Hi there. Well, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I have done, did a video the previous week about things to do to get ready for it. So hopefully you get through it, stick to whatever your plan was and feel good about it. But that might not have happened. So I'm just going to talk to you. What do you do about that, right? When there's a setback. Um, again, working with people, I see this happens a lot. Um, you know, we try to prevent it. But first of all, let's say you had your plan, or maybe you didn't make a plan, whatever. You went into Thanksgiving weekend and came out of it going, wow, okay, that was a bit of a gong show as, it, as far as food goes. Went way off track, ate way more, made bad choices, blah, 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 all of that. Okay, so first of all, and this is what I always say to clients. Number one, okay, no, it happened. These things happen. How you look at it though, what you take away from it can make the difference in, okay, can you learn something from this and set yourself up to avoid it again? Um, or is it just gonna contribute to another series of events where you know, you, you really were hoping that you could get through something and stick to a food plan and you didn't. It's just another one to add to the list. So, I mean, and again, this is very common. You're not alone. People struggle with this all the time. There's so much sort of, you know, people feel guilty and shame and all these toxic emotions that happen after something like this. So what I'd like you to do in a way of working through this, number one, is look at, okay, what revisit the whole event rather than get out of your head get out of your the, the pity party that you may be having get out of the negative self-talks that's not going to serve any purpose at all you're just beating yourself you know it's like sort of flogging yourself just you know beating yourself up there's nothing to be gained from that at all that way of thinking but what you can do is now say okay let's revisit this i'm going to learn something from this experience and this is what i would what i work with i'm working with clients okay let's learn from this and ask them a series of questions. So first of all, look at this, we're gonna get mind-body. From a body standpoint, let's start there. In terms of your body going into this event, I mean, were you really hungry? Had you been eating lots of sugars and high carby type foods and alcohol a few days before, so your blood sugar's all over the place, and you were super hungry, and you didn't eat well that day, so you know to eat, you just sort of went crazy. I mean, your body needs fuel. And your body's going to respond. It's going to affect your behavior around food. You know, if your blood sugar is all over the place. So look at that. Maybe it's a body thing. Secondly, did you have a plan going into it? You know, into Thanksgiving. Did you think about that? Had you thought through what you wanted to do, what you could replace stuffing, have certain things instead of stuffing or not have stuffing, but you'd have the turkey and kind of work through your plan? Did you make a plan or not? You know, if you didn't, then you're kind of taking your chances. If you made a plan, then look and kind of go, okay, so what worked? Give yourself a pat on the back. There's a good chance there's certain things that you did do well. And then look at what, what, where the challenges came around certain foods. And again, from a body standpoint, we've already touched on that. Now we're going to get a little more into mindset because mindset is huge. So looking at, okay, you did go off track and Let's say what contributed to that was, um, you know, was it just you weren't really connected with your bigger picture, your why you want to lose weight in the first first place? You know, the immediate excitement, the satisfaction from food sort of took over as opposed to the longer term goal. So, OK, next time. Maybe you need to reconnect with what your goal is and why it's important to you. That's like an athlete, high competitive athlete doing all the training and everything and then going to the race is a race of some sort of competition and just think, well, hopefully it works out. But they're focused. They go in, they're like, they've got their vision. They know where they want to go. They know what their goal is. And they're like whoo, in the mode. They're in the zone, right? Were you in the zone or was it a bit sort of loosey goosey? Um, so when you are also, the other thing from a mindset standpoint is again, looking at where the challenges were, like when you, you had the dessert or you had the appetizers or you did double portion of stuffing. Um, also what was going on mentally, emotionally with you? You know, were you, was it, were you caught up in the celebration? Were you treating it that this is a reward? Which is nice, but can you, could you have done it a different way without looking at food? Were there other things happening? I mean, there could be things like, I mean, it's a stress, I mean, sometimes these gatherings, maybe there's a stress, stressful component 
um, a kind of um, emotional component to it all um, in terms of negative emotions like stress with people or arguments or maybe there's things that were bothering you and rather than saying it you know you're eating the food what was going on there and it's not it's just so you understand what was triggering you and therefore then a coming away with more awareness that's a win secondly it's going to say the next step is okay what could i do differently so in terms of oh if i get upset about something what else could i do in that situation so i'm not turning to food and develop strategies in terms of stress management handling um the the, the negative self-talk things that are going on during the event that maybe are setting you up to like just reach for the food and just mindless eating right just being very mindful while you're there making conscious choices so a setback can be a gift believe it or not, because this is as long as you can reflect on it and learn from it and develop strategies that will set you up going forward. It doesn't need to be the end of the world. Another one to add to the list of a series of, of setbacks that you've had in these similar situations. So hopefully that will give you some ideas, right? Shift your, your perspective on it. Look at how you can learn from this. What can you do differently? And, and with that, then Ideally, next time you'll go in and you'll be more prepared. You'll have handled your food better so your body was more so going into it or you'll have your strategies in place um, so that you can get through the next event and even if it's not perfect, it'll be better than this time, right? Um, and you just work towards that so that uh, you can go to these things, feel empowered, feel mindful, feel like you are in the driver's seat, um, which means it's not always about perfection. If you go into one of these things and you decide, you know what, I am going to have a dessert or I am going to do these things. That's okay too, because you're in the driver's seat. You're deciding that you're okay doing that. And if it means you don't lose weight the next week, but you've made that conscious decision, there's a place for that. So, um, anyways, so take some time, reflect back on what happened, make a list, what went well, give yourself a pat on the back. Where could you have done better? And really dig a little deeper to, you know, tease apart what you could do differently next time. Okay, um, so have a great week and we'll connect again soon. Take care.